Step one, turn off the power. Step two, take out all the heater, the heater racks. Once you get the racks out, you may be shocked to find that this might be what your heating elements looked like after just a few years of use. The problem is, these are hiding underneath the racks, so you may not notice when they've been broken, and your sauna's just not going to heat up the way it used to. You don't want that. Once you've removed the heater guard, and you got all the racks out, and you're ready to take it off the side of the wall, just lift gently, and I do mean gently, and just set it down on its side. At this point, you're going to want to have someone double check the fuse box and make sure that you've absolutely, 100%, definitely turned the power off. Once you got these out of the heater, you're going to notice these just weren't meant for use anymore. In Finland, Estonia, countries where sauna was born, this kind of stuff gets changed every year just to keep it in tip-top shape. You typically want to change out your heating elements at least every three to five years just to keep them in the best condition. They're going to undergo a little bit of wear and tear from having the rocks, the heat, the water. It's just going to happen. And now that it's time to put in the new heating elements, we're going to need to go ahead and... There's only two? You're going to notice a difference when you unbox the brand new heating elements because they look like they haven't withstood that kind of wear and tear. Brand new, unbent. Yeah, you're gonna have a little bit of packing material potentially, but that's gonna burn right off with the first run. And then you're ready to start fresh with nice new connections. And you're gonna wanna gingerly put these back in there so that they make a full connection so that these are in full contact with the electrical. Otherwise, you're not going to get the full heat of your summer. You always want to consult the assistance of a very qualified person. In this case, this guy. So then you just want to make sure that you finish off by gently putting the rocks back into the sauna heater. And you want to be very ginger about not getting any of the heating elements bent as you do this. See how they stay straight? You want to be very cautious about that and then you want to completely cover them so that when you pour water over the rocks all you get is steam and you don't get damaged heating elements. Oh man, when you redo the heating elements in your sauna you will notice such a marked difference. I went from getting to 170, 180 in almost two hours to getting upwards of 200 in 45 minutes. And that is a big, big difference. So enjoy and happy sauna bathing to all and to all a good night. <laughs>